All right, for a second day in a row, there is no school for students in Seattle as negotiations continue between the district and striking teachers. Our Aaron Nolan is joining us now live with the uh, latest on the contract negotiations. Good morning, Aaron. Hey, good morning, guys. Seattle has the largest school district in the state of Washington, about 50,000 kids, and the Seattle Education Association has about 6,000 employees. But you mentioned that they are walking the picket line today. This after months of failed negotiation talks. It all led up to just hours before the first day of school yesterday. Failed negotiations ended at midnight, forcing the cancellation of class and putting teachers on that picket line. It's a little paternalistic, like, you know, like you would to a kid, oh, everything's going to be fine. Trust us. But that's, as I say, not a recipe for success. We do need to write it down. Um, and I think it's fair um, to ask that, that the district do that. That impasse is extending into another day today. Here is what is on the table. Pay raises, staffing ratios for special education, and multilingual students and student mental health support. The strike also has parents scrambling to make last minute arrangements for their kiddos, but the district is notifying them by 3 p.m. each day to let them know if there will be school the next day. Seattle is not the only Washington school district that is facing this situation in nearby Port Angeles, Washington. There are an authorized strike there. The school there is supposed to start today. And teachers in nearby Kent just reached a deal last night after striking as well. Guys. And that is Aaron Nolan reporting live. We are going to be speaking to a parent from the Seattle School District later on Morning in America. That's going to be in the 8 o'clock hour. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.